Well, the start of school also means the start of sports for thousands of Central Florida students. Yesterday, we spoke to a local neurosurgeon about student-athlete concussion awareness, but sudden cardiac arrest is also another big concern. This year, though, some districts are making a change in the name of safety, requiring young athletes to get heart screenings. And as James Barbero shows us, the new tests are already getting results. So all we're doing today is we're listening to your heartbeat super closely. 10 stickers, 10 cables, 16 seconds, and they're done. Excellent. You're set. Some with nonprofit who we play for are teenagers, just like the student athletes they're screening. Heart screenings. It can save lives. 18-year-old Jamie Dudley believes a screening may have saved hers. Jamie was a swimmer and cheerleader at Rockledge High School, and when she was a junior, she took a then voluntary heart screening during her regular school physical. Have you ever passed out or nearly passed out? Just like these students, Jamie's screening went to a doctor, and then the doctor's office emailed her a big concern, which her family was never aware of. They just said, like, if I, I didn't get it fixed, then I could have caused sudden death. Jamie's heart beats faster than normal, so at 17, she had corrective surgery and was soon back to playing sports. Jamie's conducting the same screening she got on her younger brother. To be in this room today, to be doing this, how does that all feel? Glorious. Perfect. Stacy Sima is helping with screenings, too. Her daughter Lexi, a Vieira High School cheerleader in 2016, survived a heart attack. When you see the other children in this room, you probably can't help but think of Lexi. Right. Yeah. We can't be more happy that this is going forward. That's what we strive for is to make sure that other kids don't suffer what she suffers. New data from the district shows 3,000 Brevard Public School students have now been screened. Ten of those students were flagged by cardiologists for being at a higher risk of suffering cardiac arrest and six students were identified as having a life-threatening heart condition. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.